Hey church, hope you are well and welcome to day two of our devotional series, Fearlessly Devoted. Yesterday I asked the question of what are you devoted to? I'm not trying to, I wasn't trying to catch you out. I just believe that God wants us and calls us to be a devoted people. Actually, it's in our nature. We were made to be devoted because we were made in God's image. And the Bible says that he's a jealous God and devoted to his people. The dictionary definition of devoted is very loving, loyal and faithful. Being devoted to something means being focused on that particular thing almost exclusively. When you are devoted to a cause, you work to achieve its goals. When you are devoted to a person, you place their needs above your own. Acts 2 verse 42 says that they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. The early church were a devoted people just like we can be. Devotion is a beautiful thing and it brings out the best in us. It removes selfish behavior and entitlement as it shifts our focus away from ourselves. As I write this devotion, my thoughts turn to what I want my children to see in me. I have three beautiful and amazing kids and I want them to see that I'm devoted to their mother. I also want them to see and know that I am devoted to Jesus, to his ways, his teachings, his house and his people. I want them to see love, loyalty and faithfulness in action and what comes first in my life. This is sadly lacking in today's society and maybe it's time as a people, as followers of Jesus, we stand tall and proudly show our devotion and who we are devoted to. Love you church, have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow for part three of our devotional series, Fearlessly Devoted.